Today we are playing Bramble. Bramble. Just double check the settings here. Screen, 1440, VSync off. Let's make sure this is up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story. I think, I think they said Vakna, which means wake up. He searched in for his sister's comfort. But she was nowhere to be found. They said Ragnar? They did? Oh, never mind, I misheard. <laughs> Are you sure they didn't say, they didn't say Vakna? To be honest, they might have said like that. No, I made it up. I... Oh, wow. Okay. I swear they went... Fuck! <laughs> Oh my god, I look kind of creepy. Okay, my name is Ulle, and my sister is Lille Moore. Once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. But soon the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. The girl was afraid, and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs, and she could not get away. And the girl was never seen again. Until a hero stepped up by the name of Ule. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimur. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. Change the view, the pictures have a cool effect. Huh? The pages have a cool effect. What do you mean? Oh! There once was a girl who snuck like out of her bedroom window at night. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth. But soon, the girl was afraid, and she wanted to go. Oh, you don't mind. And the girl was never seen. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimur. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. This is a bad idea, Ulla. Is Lilimur a common name in Sweden? Uh, no. It's a traditional name. Being with his sister scared him even more. <laughs> Is 
shouldn't have made these Trump jokes. Now people, people who weren't here are going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, Snart Lord. 69. Hey. Watch that, man. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. But at night, it was a different story. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really nice. There was nice. no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. Yeah, he changed before he went out but the window. If the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. I'm vibing with this. A bunny. Maybe Lila Moore likes doing these. Christ. I thought this was going to be a cozy experience for a morning stream. This is so creepy. <laughs> what have you guys got me into? really committing on finding Lady Lemur. Surely at this point you go back and bring mom. How do I get it? Wait, what do you mean speed run? What, am I missing stuff? Well, I'm just playing the game, no? Oh, is it because I'm spamming jump? Okay, you got me worried. <laughs> Am I meant to, like, go out in the bushes here and stuff? No? Ooh. 
Oh, shit. Okay. I... Les Lemons? Oh no, what is this? Oh my god, was I the only one who saw something completely different? I thought the black, the shadow around the statue was black hair. And I thought the bottom of the hair were these squinting eyes. And that it was this sagging face. Was I the only one who saw that? I, I saw something completely different until it started focusing. Ah, oh, this is kind of nice. Oh, that was really creeping me out. A symbol of hope. Spark of courage. Mm -hmm. Is this the start of the game? Yeah. Um, our sister went out in the night and we're searching for her. Game complete. What do you have there? Lily Moore asked. It glimmers beautifully. Hmm. What a strange rock. Light as a feather. She investigated closely. Ah. <gasps> Let us play, little brother. Lillamore bubbled. <laughs> See if you can knock down this pine cone. Together, oh, okay. they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old ruin.
Follow me, little brother. I will protect you, Lila Moore said. She was never scared like him. Ulle wished he could be a little more like his sister. I to go put on some socks. Chat, check out these socks I got. <sighs> They're happy, happy socks. They have these like, they're really soft and they have these little things on them. That are really furry. <sighs> they're very cozy. Fuzzy, maybe? Furry? Fuzzy? Lilimur loved adventures, and Ulle loved Lilimur. <laughs> wow, Lilimur can parkour. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Elysian. Enjoy the game. Huge ass apples. Do it again. This looks like, uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> yes. have, uh, at the Stockholm Zoo. Have a building like this. Come with us.
Gnomes are peculiar and playful creatures. They live peacefully in daylight and keep in their houses at night. Visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of until this day. I steal it. Ow! Can I not look at the hedgehog? Oh, he gets his friends! Are you guys not gonna push it? Well, what's the plan here? Oh. Oh, we're playing hide-and-seek! One! <laughs> two! I see you! I can't tell if that's... Because that's on my left. I can't tell if that's the ones I've already caught. Or if it's the last one. It must be the last one. Oh, shit. Hair. Hey, man. Hi, Senshi. Hi guys! Hello! Hey door! Hey door! Oh. I shall help. 
I'm hurting. Come on, guys. Not the last one, though. Oh. Oh. Come on, little mood. I haven't really said much, but honestly, this game is just beautiful. The fact that I haven't paused and discussed something says enough. Yeah. Oh. I saw a frog the other day. Not the one that was hurt that I talked about, the toad, but an actual frog. It's really rare for me to see frogs these days. So when I do, it's just such a nice feeling. I don't get to see many frogs. Growing up, I saw frogs everywhere. So many frogs. And, and you know, these days, it's tough. I don't get to see frogs uh, that often. It's very sad. We used to have lots of them traveling through our garden. Now I haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? <clears throat> Dude, I'd, I'd go for a walk and I'd see... Like a ten minute walk, I'd, I'd see a couple of frogs. Two, three frogs. Hello. Elemur, wait! <laughs> uh, I think that was more of a toad than a frog. This is, I mean, we can just die here. Why are you letting your eight-year-old little brother do this? Yeah! They were both curious in different ways, while Lillimor quickly ran along. Ulle could get completely enthralled. Suddenly, uh, Ole was alone again. Uh, 
What? It's uh, we've been out for the whole day. <laughs> Le Lemur's kind of a shit sis. Okay, I mean, like, <laughs> that's this perspective. Am I meant to be playing this with controller? <laughs> I feel like it's a little hard with a keyboard. Am I, is this a controller game? I feel like this is a controller game. <laughs> How do I run? Oh shit! What the fuck? The river was strong, and Ule was weak. He did not stand a chance. But soon, the sound of the river faded. Ole was happy to have firm ground under his feet again. What the fuck? I'm dead, right? I'm totally passed out right now. vibe really nice game very very Swedish vibes what Lille Moore? The toad saved me! Considering all these things we're encountering have roots in Swedish mythology, do you recognize any of this? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I want to see all of it. King made sure that his new friend did not drown. But without his sister, he felt like the loneliest child in the world.
just want her to find Lillimor and go home. But to do that, he had to find where the big troll had taken her. There's a lot of, like, kids' books that, uh... <clears throat> are very similar to this uh, feeling. I'm officially cancer-free starting from yesterday. Just wanted to say how much I appreciate your content throughout my bedtime in the hospital. It brought me some smiles. Much love. Hey, Chucky! Congratulations! Yay! Oh, good for you. That's very nice. You must be feeling uh, a very big mix of emotions. A ladder. Oh. oh, where are all your friends? Oh, God. The troll's gonna be snacking on them, I swear to God. I've got you, I've got you. Could I have gone in that door? <laughs> I can go left. Oh, he's hung over there. I gotta go help him.
Wait, this is no, 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 no. No, I thought. Oh, can I not go help him? Oh shit! <laughs> I was looking everywhere but there. <laughs> okay. Okay, there are traps, guys. Watch out. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. Oh, I'm meant to climb. I'm coming, little guy! <laughs> uh, perspective here is a little tough, eh? <laughs> it's What? Oh, am I not meant to jump onto the mushroom? What am I meant to do? Tree. And then mushroom. <laughs> thought for sure it was gonna be a soft landing on the mushroom. Hold on. This looks sus. No, no. This is- this is a trap. Wait, what's the perspective here? What? Why am- Why is- So, this- this thing is huge. I'm tiny. This thing fell down, so so the little thing would have been just a tiny little snack for this. Oh fuck, dude! I cannot register these climbing vines. I I have trouble. They just look like background <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was I was trying to I was trying to climb over the edge. I, this is going really well. Try again. No, we have- we have two rules. 
I don't dab and I don't throw for content. I'm just simply an idiot. to go down there. I thought I could jump to the right. Oh, okay. not be very obvious when you're just watching, but the perspective kind of throws off the controls sometimes, okay? on him. Take that. Take that. This was meant to be a chill morning stream. So this is a kid dying. Is uh, this this is a kid? V 
very rare to have a kid get mushed into bits in a game. This doesn't really happen that often in games. We are witnessing history. <laughs> I've always wanted it, honestly. I think that it's been a bit too censored at times. Some games seem to have very set rules on it. Tends to take me out of the game when kids can't. <laughs> in like a in a very serious sense, I mean that. Do I just? Okay. Olla wanted to cry. A couple of hours ago, he had been in his warm bed. Now. <laughs> He had almost died several times. His sister was gone, and he was soaked in oh God, smelly it's sewer water. It's rats. Come, on, come out, please. Friends, I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. What? No, I know, I'm here. <laughs> Hi! Okay, everything's... Everything's great. you know that we are there's like a reason that a crying baby invokes such feelings and it's uh, believed to be like a evolutionary thing almost you know that, that obviously if a baby's crying they need to be helped yeah, if you get annoyed, if you get anger, if you get... It, it, that's an evolution. You may be like, yeah, I hate kids. But it's like, it's it's deeply rooted in us that we're meant to help. Uh, we need to get a baby to stop crying. Like, it, it's meant to be noticed, you know? Which I find very cool. Duh! Oh! <laughs> No. No. No, I'm I'm genuinely really upset about this. I don't want to keep going. No, don't. Here, here, here. <laughs> We're leaving. We're not. No. Is he alive? Is that him wiggling cuz he's alive? No, he's Look oh, careful. Come here, come here, this way. Here, here, come. Come, come here. We'll just sneak up. That's it. Come on, here. No! Okay. Oh, little buddy, you don't stand a chance. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do a quick maneuver here, guys. We're gonna run right! Come, 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 come! Okay. And then- No! Let me lead. Come here. 
Stop it! Here. And then let me walk through you. Quick! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Stop! Okay. Nice. We lost one, but that- Oh, that genuinely really upset me. A home for you guys, come. <laughs> what? This is too happy. really upset. <laughs> I'm actually really upset. Oh, I wanna- I wanna slaughter these guys. What's happening? Okay, let's keep- are we good? We're good. Okay, let's keep playing. Oh, he's got a siren or whatever. Or a... Okay. Okay. I mean, this guy, even if he's like, he has a home and he's like, out doing gardening right now or something, he's a bit of a freak, right? Like, this guy's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. Can you imagine doing this and like, picking up frogs and squishing them? Perspective. Where am I meant to go? <laughs> oh, I did not get that. He's going to smash it in two, one. Oh shit! What? Oh, I think it's because I'm running. <laughs> That's why he keeps looking back right away. I need to walk. I, I, I do a quick speed run. I,
my cam out of sync? It's fine for me. Try refreshing. Might be a Twitch thing. to the hand. Yo, hey.
Why are we all W Wing? <laughs> Molly, Molly, why did you W? <laughs> Uh oh all right. Just give me a minute. Ooh, excuse me. Oh nice. Watermelon taste. Ah Thanks for all the resubs, guys. Much love. Hope you're enjoying your morning. Well, for me, it's starting to get afternoon now. Okay, let's go! The lighting is beautiful, isn't it? Looking. He, she. I don't really care. It. Fuck face. I fucking misclicked. I. to click jump, but sometimes I do it because I've been playing Star Wars, <laughs> and in Star Wars when you jump doing this, you do a leap to hurry up. That's why I've done it a few times now. Jump in this literally just as a 180 and he jumps off. It's like the thing I saw. Oh shit! <laughs> I, I <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> That's actually really fucking funny. I. <laughs>
what's one thing to the next hey one thing to it's just from one thing to the next hey oh no no I didn't mean to I didn't know someone was in there what? I'm really upset about all this <laughs> Why are you going soft in other games you want to kill children? But these are like little babies and they're really cute. Usually I want to when it doesn't let me. But if it lets me, then I'm sad. <laughs> what am I doing here? What is this? Why am I... I don't know what this is. What? It's gone now. Oh, I'm above him. I mean, I thought the perspective's really messing with me sometimes, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just run off. Oh no, these are the guy who's guys whose king I killed. Oh sorry. Hello. Oh. Leave him alone. Ow. What? Are we good? Ow. Ow. Stop. He's scared of you guys. He's like an elephant against mice. Stop it. Ow. It's aiming, dude. Okay. Okay. It Ola felt bad for the ill-treated giant. Hello. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Lemus might be big, but he had a warm stone heart. Hello. He kind of looks like me. All he longed for was a friend. His face scared him most. I think it's the ears. Green eyes, big nose. Yeah, he gives me Tio vibes. <laughs> Even so, like it seemed like he had found one. I'd right, see you later. You were to voice him, what would it sound like? Well, hello. Do you need help? Behind you. What lay behind you? Surely Tio comes to help. Surely, though. Oh. I thought for sure I'd come to help. the stone uh. 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 Ule was comforted by the morning sun he had survived the night but just barely At least he had found the stone again. Sun's <laughs> the sun's kind of bright, right? <laughs> it sounds like it was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. <laughs> I think it bugged. Ugh, I'm pretty sure it bugged. Hey Morganstrom, thanks for subscribing. Ah, uh, this is what we were meant to see, I think. We never got to see that. Ah, there we go.
other epos. Epos. Bad for panda. No, they have no low latency. Pule was comforted by the morning sun. He had survived the night, but just barely. Ooh, what's going on here? <coughs> At least he had found the stone again. And it felt like it was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. Oh, it's nice and pretty again. This is Swedish chat. It's a merchant hedgehog. Oh no. Why was that so beautiful? <laughs> I need I need a second. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
Ah. Uh, oh, no. I, I, oh, God. Uh. Oh, it's really opened me up. I need to close. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Heroic's calling me. I don't know why. Uh, hello? Good morning. Good, I'm just crying on stream. Uh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's singing about Theo. Can you translate? Um, it's about. It's a very classic, just Swedish song. It's about um summer coming and flowers and stuff. It's a really beautiful... I, I wouldn't do it any justice trying to sum it up here. Um, just, uh... You could look up uh, what Karin wrote, Den blomstertid nu kommer. Uh, it means, uh, like, flower time is coming. <laughs> but that's a horrible translation. Um, yeah, it's just about... It's just about, like... Basically, yeah, like about the rebirth of uh, during summer. Like it's a really beautiful uh, song, and um, uh, it's just it's it's very it's a very beautiful song. And that was a really nice rendition. Uh, it was just really nice, and it's just nature coming back out and coming alive again and stuff. Uh, Joshino, thanks for the five subs. Much love, much love. And there was a midsummer, there was a midsummer, um, Midsummer Song, a midsummer flower pole, midsummer pole on the, on the left as we were coming down. It was just very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, just as bur flowers come out in the, in the summer here and like, you know, it's after like, after like eight months of winter, honestly, our winters are getting really long. Like it's um, Swedes uh, very much come alive again when summer comes. So it's just uh, to me, I think it just has a lot of meaning um, to it. Samadhi, thanks for the five subs. <clears throat> much love, man. Much love. Welcome, everyone. Sweden dies in the winter. Yeah, it's very dark and depressing. Or a big time of the year. Um, thank, thanks everyone for the love. Sorry about that. All right, let's let's play. <laughs> let's play. I'm feel ah oh, this I ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah oh, fuck my. Just uh, just give me a sec. Uh, why? I charged you. What? No, stop.
I don't care about ShareMouse. Shittiest software on the planet. Just... Okay. Can this... Okay. Does this work with... Fucking... Ah, oh, you fucking... I forgot to I forgot to charge my headset in the night. Okay. Okay, so what's next? God, it's from one thing to the next in this game. Ah. Uh. Oh, these guys are so why am I so emotional? <laughs> Touching my childhood. Oh my god. <laughs> I need <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it goes from one thing to the next. <laughs> no, I can't play this game. <laughs> I need to God I need <laughs> Baby's dying or something. This is too deep. I need to just. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh. I would sneeze. <clears throat> oh. I used to love um, pick these up and blow at them. It's nice. Every, oh god, there's so many just little memories. It's tr it's doing really well. It's doing really well. What uh, what am I meant to do here? <clears throat> okay. Let's just find out what we're meant to do. Yeah, sneeze. Am I meant to go over here? No. It's capturing the Swedish summer really, really well. Yeah. Um, let me move one of these guys up so that he, I think I'm sneezing as a clue. I think I'm meant to make this thing sneeze. Or she's meant to sneeze to wake up. There we go. Hello. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hey, why are you sad? Oh, I'm coming. It's nice to see he's alive. Hold on! Oh. 
Hi. Oh. Cool, um, like folklore uh, references and stuff in this. It's uh, it's really well done. What what have these guys done beforehand? Is this one person? Two? Who who made this? Have they done something um, big before? Like fourteen people. What was their previous game? Anything that I'd know? Among us, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. I meant to swing from this, maybe. Made a writer and his daughter in 2017. <laughs> Frodo! Hold on! I don't know, I don't think he says anything in that, in that scene, to be honest. I think they're just quiet. Toss me! No, but that's... That's not during this. Am I not doing this right? Just have to go for it. I thought I was... I thought I was gonna hang from the chain. What the fuck, bro? You're... He just fucking goes for it?
Oh, there are physics to this. He's alive. I mean, he's in there. I don't know if he's alive. You know what I bought that's really good for this? So you guys can be in on things. If you, sometimes I won't remember the name. But I have this by, uh, I have this, which is about spirits and monsters of Scandinavian folklore, collected and illustrated by Johan Egerkrans. So, for example, you can look up Necken, right? And this is in English. So it talks about him. So the Neck is a mysterious and dangerous water spirit living in rivers and rapids, brooks and lakes. And here's a picture. Right? And it talks about it. And then if you go to the next page, for example. The, next, the, the Neck is an expert musician who can distort the minds of people with his swirling tones. He plays mostly at dusk, sitting on a rock in flowing water by waterfalls, mills, and under bridges. When people hear the extraordinary music, they can become spellbound and, as a result, are easy prey for the neck. 
In other cases, the music draws people into a dance and they cannot stop until the sun goes down. So like, and there's all kinds of info here. I'm not gonna keep reading and spoil it and stuff, but I, I remembered I had this. So if we wanna read about something, it's got, it's got about everyone. And there's a, there's even a, in the intro here, or in the first page, I can, I can look, I can look at which page, we could look it up, and I could read a little about it, if you guys want to know. But, you know, perhaps after we've met someone or something. looking at here it's three bodies in a river and then some sort of tiny cat head with claws why doesn't it let me leave oh there we go This is what happens. This is how it is in the book as well. The neck ends up, you end up T-posing. Oh, this is creepy as hell. Let's, let's restart and make sure we get this, uh, as a, as a full cutscene. <laughs> it's just, I think we're missing some music here as well. No! I w Well, it's coming for us. What the fuck? Oh. Hello. I don't think there's meant to be music right now, because uh, he stopped playing and went into the water. Or do you think there's meant to be music? No music, don't worry. Ah, so, oh, I'm just waiting for him to grab me. Here we go! Okay. Ah! Okay! Hello! Okay! We go! Oh, the way he turns that quickly. Oh, God, what the fuck? I think I'm gonna restart the game. It's supposed to be like that. He's underwater. Oh, okay. I thought his... I thought his body disappeared. Oh, okay. I thought he's meant to be chasing me. Does he go underwater? Oh, he goes underwater. Yeah. Okay.
not where I meant to go. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> One of the best games I've ever played. I really like this. Like seen an inside. Oh, it just stop starts me here. Oh no, here we go. This is where I was. What is this monster called? Uh, neck, yeah. The, the neck. According to my book. In English. So I wouldn't have guessed. In his past life, Nekin was a simple man that loved playing his violin, but the village did not appreciate his talent. People would frequently bully him, and the only soul that did not was a girl that Nekin fell in love with. One day the bullying and beatings became so severe that Nekin's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance, until their flesh and bone got worn down. They eventually died, leaving behind shuffling corpses, still trying to dance to Nekin's melodies. His love was not spared death either. Devastated, Nekin left the town and lived by the lake, drowning in his sorrow. 
where he still lures people with his deadly music. This is what Nock is named after? What, in Rainbow Six Siege? Oh! Yeah, maybe. Never even thought about that. Because he's got the whole thing, doesn't he? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone can say. Nurk is a variation of the Danish word Nurkin? <laughs> I don't know. The Danish name of the Neck, which are shape-shifting water spirits in Germanic mythology. That sounds like it's... something else, then. Oh my god, why did that scare me so much? Oh, that was an overreaction, I'm sorry. Okay. I- Okay, we're going- <laughs> Okay. No! Oh. Oh. Who? 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 The music is so beautiful at times that all who hear it burst into tears. If the neck himself is seen to cry while he is playing, it is a sure sign something unpleasant is about to happen. Oh, do you think he was crying in the cutscene? The one I missed? Somebody's been saying it's their favorite scene in the game, and I got a T-posing boy throughout it all. We cried? Yeah, we cried. It's, it's been bad. 
it's it's been tough. However jolly the music played by the neck may be, there's always something yearning and melancholy about it, as if he is carrying a great a great sorrow. Perhaps it is the knowledge that he will never find salvation as he lacks a human soul. Perhaps it is loneliness that makes him draw people down to his realm, only to discover time after time that they cannot survive underwater and soon leave him feeling abandoned once more. The neck can teach his musical skills to anyone who is brave enough to try. In that case, a would-be apprentice would go to a fast-flowing river or a crossroads for three Thursday nights in a row and sit there playing. For the first two Thursdays, nothing happens, but on the third, the neck appears. Then it is important to have a black cat with you. That is what the neck demands in payment. During the lesson, you have to be on your guard because the neck will try to lure his pupil into the water and drown him. Whoever survived the lesson could play so entrancingly that even chairs and tables would begin to jerk and move about. But certain melodies were very dangerous, dangerous, and the neck warned fiddlers not to play them. If the dreaded El Vaspelet, fairy tune, was played, the piece would take hold of the player and the dancers, and none of them would be able to stop. The dance was so wild and the dancers completely unable to come to a halt that their feet would be successively worn down to bleeding stumps. In some cases, it went so far that the entire bodies were whittled away and only the heads were left hopping about on the dance floor. The one way to bring the madness to an end was to cut the strings of the violin. As soon as the music fell silent, the spell was broken. There was one other thing I read on the first page silently when I was looking it up earlier. Uh, he often tries to drown careless bathers and lure people into his underwater kingdom and hold them prisoner there. Flowering water lilies are a sure sign that the neck is nearby, in which case it would be wise to bind him by sticking a knife into the shore before going for a swim. That's what I read actually, and I didn't say it because I realized maybe we'd be doing it, and it would be a spoiler. The neck is as changeable as the water where he belongs, and often sh shapeshifts into different guises. But contrary to common belief, he rarely appears naked. He can take the shape of anything from a young boy or an elegant gentleman to a wizened old man with a white beard and red hat. Regardless of his shape, he can be recognized by his long greenish black hair and eyes as dark as the deepest forest pool. Generally, the neck will also have some peculiar characteristics such as horse hooves, large crooked nose, an extra eye in the middle of his forehead, horns, frogs, eyes, or webbed fingers and toes. There's a picture of him. Cool. I have the perfect book for this. It's got stuff about everyone. They've got fairies in here as well. Mermaid. Giants. Are they? The, I think they're the ones who are helping us. Really beautiful art as well. I bought this at a museum in Stockholm. Um, they had it in both Swedish and English. I bought it in English. I keep it in my um, in the guest house for guests if they want to read about Swedish. Um, Scandinavian folklore, mythology, and all that. What museum? Ooh, uh, it's the one. Does anyone know the name of it? It's the one um, in Stockholm. It's by the palace. The Royal Armory? Maybe? An armory? Swedish museums like our British ones, or do you actually have stuff in Sweden there? No, it's it's about Sweden. It's the Swedish history.
a large shrubbery. That's the least I can. This is the same path we took last time we were passed out. But it seems a little more corrupted. Will she be here this time? God, that is some long hair for a, a kid. You've just never had your hair cut. My sister had that long hair when she was a kid. Had it down like just super, super long. was a light in the darkness. She had filled his heart with courage and the stone with her radiance. The bramble covers all where darkness has taken hold, Tuva said. Follow the light. You will find what you are searching for within the mountain. Really intrigued by this game. <laughs> Do we know who this is? <gasps> A woodwife, perhaps? No. Tuva. I don't have Tuva here. I just want to check something. Hmm. 
Hello. You mechanics. Man, all of this because my sister couldn't stay in her fucking room. More. Oh, it's me! Hey, man! What are you doing here? Clutch. Fucking clutch. <laughs> Thanks, Marquitos. Much love. An amazing immersive experience it's a wonderful game so far I really oh I really vibe with it that's not what I meant to do <laughs> Perspective throws me off sometimes, but <laughs> other than that, other than that it's, it's great. What's over here then? Hold on, hold on. Secret? Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna defend myself on that because I think it was very normal to do that. Very much looks like you can go right there. Doing perspectives like this is a great way of making a game entertaining gameplay sense, gameplay wise, without having to do much more. Like, you've done a beautiful world. If this was a, like a third person game and I'm running around third person, it wouldn't be as nice. But this zoomed out view keeps the player very entertained just by ha being able to look at everything. Plus, 
the aspect of like making mistakes like I've been making because you can't quite tell what to do keeps the brain like a little bit it keeps it going a little you know compared to just a third person as I'm running oh you have to jump here you have to do here um, it's a it's a really really nice perspective the land was once a peaceful king great way of telling a tale a great king telling a story now his image embodied the darkness that had drowned the world in bramble Thank you. This is good, yeah? Okay. Lamus would always look after Lamus. his only friend. Oh. Maybe I restart? Do you think it'll restart me on this cutscene? Okay. Lamus would always look after his only friend. Lamus. Olle felt a chill as he saw the warnings for desperate mothers carrying their infants. They pleaded with them not to carry out the unspeakable acts they had set their minds to. Are they throwing them down? Or like sacrificing them?
Oh, I really love this kind of shit, dude. I really love this kind of shit. It's just like really sick shit. Like it's... There's something that's so... Well, I don't know what the word is. But it... It... it brings something out of me. Like there's something in it. That I really like. I'm going to leave you with this view. Because I need to bring Luna in. I heard her bark outside. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's enticing. It's enticing. Yeah. Hey Teo, been a long time viewer since 2012. Haven't really watched you since 2014. <laughs> That's not a long time viewer. <laughs> you watched for two years. <laughs> and then, nothing. But I hear what you're saying. Do you think you can give me a 30 second rundown of what you've been up to since then? Since 2014? No. <laughs> uh, good talk though, man. <laughs> uh, come on, let's play. No, I'd look in the book about, uh, about this, but, um, I don't want to spoil. You know, there's something going on here. I want to look after, you know? Get some more details about it. But enjoy catching up on content. There's been a lot of fun videos since then. This seems to be some sort of witch. I like this biome. I don't. I don't. Uh, this is okay, but... Swamp is my least favorite biome. In, uh, in video games. Aren't games fun, though? Can you imagine a hundred years ago, someone being like, Jeffrey, swamps are my least favorite biome. Like, who talks like that, you know? It, only today can we say shit like that. And people are like, mm, I agree. I hate biomes. I mean swamps. The worst decision they could have made for, um... <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> The worst decision they could have made for um, Outlast 2 was um, setting it in a swamp. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Over here. A 
a block away. Oh, you know what this is? All the babies that were sacrificed, it's their souls. You can hear the crying in the distance. the baby's sacrifice is the question. I'm sure we'll find out. Or why did the mom sacrifice? Can't speak. Oh, these flowers don't react. They're stronger. It's at the source. Okay. <laughs> Never gets old to me. Oh wait, I have to RT. I forgot about that. Is Stutter shining a light at them? You know what I think game developers... What makes a good game developer? Someone who realizes that they don't need everything, you know? This game has all kinds of beautiful animations and stuff that they've clearly spent a lot of time on. And then, like, whenever there's a puzzle like this, this is the second time I'm rolling something. It's literally just this doing it on its own. There's no kid here, like, doing it, you know? And, um, and that's okay. It doesn't bring anyone out of it. Why are you all annoyed? Why are you all so stressed? Ch chill out. Well, all. Two of you. Marco and Kai. <laughs> Less is more? Yeah, or even just like, I don't, I wouldn't say that's more. Like, if there was a guy there spinning, that'd be fine. But you don't have to do everything, you know? Some parts you can just... It's okay to leave it, you know? Just have it spinning on its own. Nobody... No one's gonna mind. I guess it's about identifying what you want to prioritize work-wise. <laughs> Fuck that. Peek in the window. down here. Oh, it's a bunch of cribs. This, of all the swamps, this swamp has been done quite well, I will say. Don't generally like swamps, but this one's quite nice.
Hi, Rinko. Welcome to your first stream. This was meant to be an FPS, but they couldn't meet deadlines. <laughs> Ollie's revenge. I suspect I'm not meant to be adding everything to the recipe. Ah. Plus and circle to pot, plus circle. <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> okay, how do I dump what I have? Can I just dump it in the fire here? Yeah, I know they want. Can I, I choose? No? It's the wrong mixture, man. It's not gonna work. No, my dude, don't go in the. No, don't pour it. So, what was it? Plus and circle? Plus? I mean, circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, triangle, triple. Triple. Triangle. That's not a triangle, actually. Um, diamond, I guess. <laughs> no, but it's not even that. What's it called when a square is not a square? <laughs> a rhombus. A rhombus. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing really well. You would think it's midnight, and I'm tired. It's fucking 2 p.m. Okay. Oh, we gotta learn. If you find yourself in pain and sorrow, cry no more, they will be gone tomorrow. Listen to the voices of the deep, and join the wolves that circle round the sheep. I don't like the way that laugh. I, I thought that was behind me. I don't like that at all. Oh, oh, I don't like that. That audio. Oof. Why am I going up here? Oh. 
Okay, that's okay. Oh, oh, it's a noose. Okay, I thought we were reading this. Oh. What am I making? I assume I'm making something again? No, am I not making something? So many potions. I must be making something. Am I just grabbing books? Oh, I'm just grabbing books to get out of here, maybe. Oh, I thought I could take this potion. Oh, my bad. What's with this view? Ah, that's why. These are some big books. ahead of him. Olle knew he had to hurry before she could complete the ritual. If he did not catch up with the woman, the swamp would swallow another child. But he did not know that someone else wanted to hold him back. A midwife who wanted more dark souls to take care of. meant to go forward. I'm meant to light the way, maybe? <laughs> Come on, Taya, you're ruining the immersion here. meant to be down here? Did I fuck myself by going down here? Okay, I think I'm meant to just find it by walking. And then when he does that, I... Yeah. 
I, I was testing to see if he'd stop and like... What am I meant to... Am I meant to flash? No? Okay, so I go up. No? <laughs> Reload checkpoint, I think it's bugged. What's this, like, troll glitch where the only thing that doesn't show is my path? What is this- what is this troll glitch? Like, this is such a... <laughs> the, 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 it's too specific of a bug to be random. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Meant to jump there. Okay, I, I thought there was a little more wood. This is going really well. I can't quite see where the end of the wood is. I think it's about half a meter in front of me. Okay. It's down there. I got a checkpoint. We're okay. I thought it glitched. Oh, here we go. Wait, what? How am I doing that? It's RT. Okay. No, this is a cutscene. No, I. RTLT.
about saving the babies by doing that? I don't know. I don't think it does anything. Shad Hexon. Never heard of it. I'm pressing LT and RT, but it's like really slow. I. <laughs> so it's not RT now, so it's LT. No? I don't think I'm doing this. Am I meant to do this? No. I don't really know. Oh, it's both. Oh. Uh, no? Just wanna. Got it. We found it. Yeah. Have I done this before? I know it's to flash, but why why is this for this? It had a tutorial. Oh, I don't remember this. <laughs> this is really weird buttons for this. This is so unnatural. It's even worse on keyboard. What is it? No, I tried holding. A hold LT tap. Oh yeah, maybe. Because yeah, you're holding with your left hand. Right. I hope we get a book. Oh, Shad means um, to be in love. Shad Liak is love. Oh, and Hexa is witch. So Shad Hexam is, uh... But, I don't know if it's... That's what it's referring to in this. I don't know if that's what her name means. I've never, I've never heard of this before. Listen, ma'am, I'm just here to, um... Oh, was it Shad? Or what? Oh, it's two R's. Then I don't know. It's like a pond? Oh, the swamp. Why have I never heard this word before? Swamp witch. <laughs> not quite as, not quite as deep of a meaning. Sense and love witch. Oh, my theory was that like that's why she wants babies sacrificed, you know, something like that. Oh, I misunderstood. We like drowning here at Teo's game.
Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I got a, I got a, I got a checkpoint. No, okay, I didn't get a checkpoint. <laughs> Give me a 20 second recap of the game. Um, our name is Ule, and we're looking for our sister, whose name is um, Lillemur. And uh, she, she, yeah, our sister, she left in the middle of the night. And uh, we've been meeting trolls, and uh, right now we're, we just defeated a witch who likes, who makes moms sacrifice their babies. There's a handmaiden in there who is about to sacrifice her baby, and we're trying to stop her from doing it. Uh, it's all a bunch of, like, um, s like Nordic uh, folklore. Fo folklore um, is the, the game. And that's, uh, that's where we're at. Oh. Okay, why? Why is it high? Oh, okay, we're chasing. So slow, suddenly, man. Okay. This seems like a boss fight arena, right here. Lilamur is a traditional. Um, Name, so uh, you don't have a lot of Lila moves these days. These days, but it's uh, yeah, it's a name. But yeah, it means uh, little mother. If you're gonna be um, specific about it, can I go? Here? I thought I defeated you. of this. I could have just... Give me a little bit of a boost. Hey guys!
Ulla had been too late. Oh, goddamn, dude. At least he could give the child a proper burial. So that it would not become another dark soul. Don't tea post, man. Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> Don't. This game is, uh, this game's tough, man. This game's really tough. <laughs> there was a light in the darkness. Hello. Guilt and sorrow weighed him down. But the warm glow felt comforting. <laughs> Follow the light, Tuva had said. And he trusted her. Oh. Oh, I see. That's what he's saying, yeah. Fuck, man. That was, um... Oh, that was tough. The Lichtgüber was older than the mountain. Almost as old as the world itself. He was the keeper of secrets. The gatherer of stories. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Time for a story. Long ago, there was a peaceful kingdom that lacked an heir to the throne. King Nils and his queen Magdalena had waited for a long time. Nils is uh, one of my And at names. last, she was expecting a child. She gave birth to the longed-for son, and they named him Ulrik. But suddenly, doctors crowded around the queen's bed. Magdalena succumbed to the labors of childbirth. The love of his life was gone. Weighed down by sorrow, King Nils approached his autumn. Meanwhile, Ulrich grew into a young boy full of life. What a beautiful way of putting it, approached his autumn. The prince was the only thing that kept the darkness at bay in his heart. One day, Prince Ulrik fell ill. The doctors tried everything, but he grew weaker and weaker. They told King Niels about a mythical flower that witches were rumored to use to heal any illness. King Niels searched the whole kingdom for the flower to no avail, and his campaign soon became a gruesome witch hunt. His path was lined with the witches he had slain, but the flower was nowhere to be found. King Nils, one king. His path was lined with the witches he had slain, but the Thank you. 
Ulle wished he could stay in the warm light of the library. But he knew that he needed to reach the mountain and find Lillemur. Thank you. Let's see if this says anything in my book about this. The book hadn't ended? It had. There was no uh, way to keep going. But I have the follow up. Or do I? I don't I don't even know. Oh, I have, yeah, I have Lick Gubben here. Um, Lantern Man. No, Theo, it's part one of two. The second part of that story comes up. Ah, okay. Well, I'll read about Lantern Man, because that's not what I'm learning about there. All over the world and throughout the ages, people have been convinced that we are not alone on this earth. That other creatures exist in our world, alongside humans and animals, and that even though they may resemble us, they are entirely different beings, neither human nor divine, but representing something else. They have been known by many names and take many forms. Normally we can't see them unless they choose to reveal themselves, but they make their... Pre oh, wait, this is the intro to the book. My bad. <laughs> wait, wait, did I just... Why did I just start reading the book? It's page 90. I'm... I'm not right in my head today. I I just <laughs> I just start reading the book. <laughs> right. Um Oh, this is cool. Rawr. Here we go. Lantern man. Will Willow the Willow the Wisp Lantern Man. Two names for you, for him in English. On dark nights, you can sometimes glimpse a ghostly light flickering between the trees. The light can swiftly change shape and color, and it moves erratically. It can dart about like a streak of lightning, then suddenly stop, change direction, or disappear, only to reappear a little further off. Often you can see only the light, but you might also be able to catch sight of the Lantern Man himself, a small figure dressed in grey or green. A will-o'-the-wisp is thought to be the troubled soul of a dead person who cheated someone off a piece of their land by moving the sticks that marked the boundary between their two properties. As a, Mar Marco, we're not going to be doing a story about this in the game, right? Am I, am I spoiling what's coming up, or are we good? Lantern Man. Lukt Gubben, this dude. I figured he's just some dude who's helping us. I don't, I don't think there's any story coming up with him, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, it's a troubled soul of a dead person who cheated someone off of a piece of their land by moving the sticks that mark the boundary between their two properties. As a punishment, he can find no rest in his grave and is doomed to walk the false boundary forever. The old man is often heard to mutter, this is right, this is wrong, as he moves the boundary sticks. If someone follows a will of the wisp and moves the wrong sticks to the right place, the old man will have peace at last. The old man can, uh, can also be malicious and lead people astray. Um, at worst, he can lure someone onto the marshes with his lamp so that they're swallowed up in the boggy ground. But if a lost wanderer is kind to a will of the wisp, he can help them find their way home. If he helps you, you must be polite. As in all encounters with supernatural beings, uh, as as in all encounters with supernatural beings, and always hand him a coin for his trouble. If not, he will get angry and give you a swift clip round the ear, or else confuse your sense of direction so that you can never find your way home, uh, even if you are only a meter or two from your own front door. However, if you turn an item of your clothing inside out, the spell will be broken. And that's it. That's the lantern, man. Really cool book. Start Lord, how you doing? Much love. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hell yeah. 
There's a lot of tales like this that overlap in different cultures. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Can you tell us the title of this book? Uh... Vaisen. That's how you can find it, I guess. V-A-E-S-E-N. By Johan uh, Egerkranz. Or you on the Egerkranz. Where did it come from, Theo? Did you buy it? No, I just started playing the game, and it kind of just suddenly was with me. Uh, came out of my desk, I guess, and it just appeared here in front of me. And it's kind of been our guiding light through the game. Uh, it's amazing, man. Oh, fuck off, where's mine then? Well, in the introduction, it actually says that it only appears to those who are worthy. So... Sorry. Sorry to be the one bearer of bad news. Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. Is this game available in Swedish? It is. Can I try turning that on for a sec? Is that only subtitles? Narrator, say something. Narrator! This may be my favorite character uh, so far. This is cool. She looks so good. Now. 
Have I not gone all the way around? I'm doing the dolls first and then hurting. Really well. They've worked well. They've worked well with simple mechanics here.
Jesus. Okay, I can't go further. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Oh, this feels a bit... Am I meant to be... Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. What the... Oh, okay. Oh, this is just like in the book. Can we stop? Am I allowed to stop? Should I stop? I'm gonna let it stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he does it anyway. Spooks what? Could I have not killed her? <laughs> I... Ola, what have you done? First of all, yeah, the language thing didn't work. <laughs> and then let's restart here. Two of us. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't see my mouse. I I don't know why this game is so buggy for me, but we're, yeah.
What? No! B. Okay. Continue. There is a chapter select, so should be fine. Why does the game load in on new game? You'd think it would load in on continue. Okay. Olla, what have you done? Tuva's voice called out to him. very beautiful last time and that's what it, like the sight was beautiful okay <laughs> That's the end of the song. You fucking asshole. This is really beautiful. Look in the background. There's a woman there. What? What is this?
Välkommen till Nils Hull. Welcome to Nils Hull. It's a village. Which uh, seems to be doing so well. Yeah, listen, my morning streams usually ended about an hour ago, but I need to get through this game. I, ca I can't have this waiting for me. <laughs> I need... Uh, oh. Pretty long left here. Really? I heard this game's three hours long. I've been playing it for like three, three and a half hours now. Is there really that long left? Close to the end, probably only two hours left, I think. What? Oh, you know what? Ah! If so, we'll finish it tomorrow. I figured it was like an hour left, 45 minutes. Also, I'm stuck. No, because there's things I need to do today, and it's already 3 o'clock. At this rate, I'll be done at like 5, and I'll have missed the whole day, so. Um, good place to end it. Let's end it with... Am I spoiling something if I read about this uh, hot babe that I just killed? I think that's over, right? Because it's just about, gonna be about her. Skogsrå. Woodwife. Oh, is there a book in here? Oh, wait, there's a book here. Hold on. Is that about her? Let's see what they have to say first. Oh, no. Wait, is there a book about her in the game? Uh, if so, I'll wait. That'll be the first thing we do tomorrow after we read the book in the game. Because they have really good books as well. And then I have extra filler, more details to fill in. Unless, unless, is the book in here? It's not, is it? No. Wow. No, I don't mind to come back and finish it. Listen, if it was like an hour left, then it, I would have been like, it's kind of shit to wait. But if there's about two hours left, I don't mind splitting it up because... I'm really, really enjoying this game. This is hitting me in my core. Really, really great game. One of the best games I've played in... in uh, in a long time. A lot of games when I play them, I feel, yeah, this is good, but nothing's really hitting, really, you know? But, but, for me, this is one of the, the, the best games I've played in, in a long time that's, like, actually hit me and been like, ooh, this is, like, this is fucking solid. Um, oh, I, I really, really like it. I really like it. You finished it. No, I'll finish it tomorrow. Uh, 
I'll be live uh, with the morning stream tomorrow to finish it. Yeah, it's been really nice. It's... Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. Nice game. Nice game. Not really as chill as I'd hoped, perhaps. <laughs> but that's okay. What are your plans for the day? Um, I need to go pick up some medicine for Sunny. I need to go down and leave a thing for my boat. And uh, then I'm gonna watch uh, some CSGO if there's any left. Yeah, there'll be more left. And um, just uh, take it easy. I have a meeting and stuff this evening. So I'm probably not, I'm not gonna be live this evening, I think. I think I need to, this is taking it out of me. Maybe you'll see me live, but I'm, I don't have any plans for it. Oh. Nice. Nip game in one hour. Nice. I'll play that. I mean, I'll, I'll watch that. A time tomorrow. Uh, maybe around 10-ish, 10.30. I think most of my morning streams start closer to 10.30 than 10. Oh. Um, thank you guys, thanks for watching. 